Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. We are going to discuss five questions you may be asked at your veterinary technician interview. We'll go over each question and some advice on how to answer them, along with an answer example. Okay, let's get started. Question number one. What makes you the best veterinary technician for our company? The interviewer will ask this question to determine what sets you apart from other candidates that are interviewing for the same role that you are. The interviewer wants to hear about any skills that you possess that make you stand out from others in the field. I think that I would make the best veterinary technician for your company because of my prior background working in the pet emergency center. I gained a wide range of experience throughout my employment relationship there, and I don't feel that it is the type of experience that you obtain in a clinic. I also have the passion that it takes to work with animals, and I am working towards becoming a veterinarian. Question number two. At times, veterinary work can be stressful. How do you handle stress? Talk about how you were able to stay on track and manage the stress in your previous positions. Describe to the interviewer any techniques you utilize to assist you to manage the stress in a veterinary role. I work well under pressure and in stressful environments. I manage my stress by doing things that I enjoy outside of work, like hiking, baking, and swimming. I came into work each day with a clean slate and keep my personal and professional life separated. Question number three. Talk about a time that you had to make a tough decision when it came to an animal and how you handled that. The interviewer may ask this question because they want to know that while you enjoy working with animals, you understand that making tough calls is part of your job. The interviewer is also trying to determine that you can put your emotions aside and be professional and make the best call for an animal under all circumstances. I had a dog that was just shy of two years old come into the emergency center. The dog had been having seizures at home and difficulty breathing. We kept the dog for a few days to monitor his breathing, and during that time he had two more seizures, even with medications. The dog's oxygen levels were extremely low, and after consulting with our veterinarian, we determined that the dog was suffering and in pain. We called the family in and discussed what we felt was the only option to put the dog to sleep. It was such a difficult decision to make because the pet was incredibly young, and we had a hard time determining what, the co what caused the illness but there did not seem to be anything we could do to provide relief. And we ultimately did what we felt was best for the animal. Question number four. Talk about a time that you identified a safety concern in your workplace and what steps you took to correct this safety matter. Safety is always a top priority in the workplace, especially when working with animals. Think about a time you recognize that there was a safety risk in your workplace Talk to the interviewer about the steps you took to address the safety concern and what you learned from that process. At my previous employer, we had a very open waiting area, and at times we would have very sick pets alongside animals that were there just for routine checkups and annual vaccinations. This was a potentially dangerous situation for animals that had contagious viral infections. I spoke with the management team and we were able to keep a small area for well pets to safely wait to see their veterinarian. Question number five, tell me about a difficult experience you had with a customer or client and how you handled that situation. The interviewer is looking to determine how well you handle conflict with customers and clients. There are times when pet owners may disagree with a plan of care or your professional opinion. There may also be times that a coworker may disagree with a decision that you have made. The interviewer wants to hear that if faced with this type of conflict, you will handle it professionally. In my first role as a veterinary technician, I had a customer who was extremely upset with me because her dog's annual vaccinations had run out and she was planning to board him for a week while on vacation. The resort she wanted to board her dog at would not allow him to stay without up-to-date vaccinations. I explained to her that the clinic does do several reminder postcards, emails, and phone calls before vaccinations run out. I was able to fit her dog in for vaccinations so she could be boarded in time for her vacation and she put a reminder in her calendar so that the vaccines did not lapse again. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to our channel. It really does help motivate us to continue creating videos. Thanks again, and we hope you stick around to watch more interview practice videos from Mock Questions.